Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fifth tutorial in the series of tutorials on Arduino. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn about LCD display. So we'll be using a 16 into 2 LCD, which is having 16 rows, uh, sorry, 16 columns and two rows. And it has uh, got many pins like uh, one is VSS, second is VDD, VSS is uh, ground. VDD is 5 volts and VE is for setting the contrast of the LED. Uh, we will be using a potentiometer to control the contrast of the LCD. And RS is of course the resistor select. It selects the resistor whether it is uh, the data register or the instruction register. The fifth pin is the read write pin. And and when we set this pin to ground, it means that we are writing something onto the LED and if we connect it to the VCC or the power pin, then it means we are reading from the LCD. C is the enable pin which enables the LCD. D0 to D7 are the data bits in which the data is to be transmitted, but we will be using only this D4, D5, D6 and D7 in this tutorial. This is of course the backlit anode and backlight cathode which controls the brightness of this uh, LCD. This is the circuit diagram we will be using. So make sure you make the connections right. So as I have made uh, all the connections, I'll just come to my sketch. So I have a sketch opened up here, which is called LCD test. So for using the LCD, we have to include a library which is called the liquid crystal dot h library and we have a function liquid uh, liquid crystal lcd and within the parenthesis we have some numbers of pins of the arduino so this function sets the pins of the arduino uses to connect the lcd you have to just put the numbers uh, inside the parenthesis in this order only so if uh, I say like I want to connect the RS the resistor select pin to pin number 12 so I'll just write 12 here and I want to connect the enable pin to pin number 11 so I'll write in 11 here and so on so forth then in this setup, void setup I have a uh, function called LCD dot begin so what it does uh, that this sets the dimensions of the LED. So here I'm using a 16 column into two row LED. So I have defined 16 comma two, which is this column and row. Now in the seventh one, I have a function called LCD dot print, which prints and uh, displays the text, whatever you, uh, we want to display. And we have to take care that we put this uh, text into double quotes the loop function is empty we don't have to do something anything about it so let's uh, see okay the board is connected so i'll just upload my code and see what happens the lct should print display text here okay it's taking time yeah so my code is uploaded and I have uh, this display text over here. So uh, let's uh, see some more functions on uh, this. So let's say if I want to clear uh, whatever is uh, displayed over here. So I just have to use a function which is called lcd.clear. So it clears whatever is uh, displayed currently uh, in this LCD screen. So, what I will do is I will comment this, I will copy this one, say this one here and I will just paste it here. And I will have LCD dot clear and I will put a small delay in between. And delay after it. I'll be giving a delay of 500 milliseconds. Okay, so what we will have here will be a blinking effect. 
like it uh, the text will be uh, displayed for and uh, 500 microseconds and then text will be gone so i'll just be l i n see what happens if i upload the code here okay so now we can see the text is blinking we also have a function called lcd.home which places the cursor at the top left hand corner of the screen and prints any subsequent text from that position only so let's try it okay so i have modified this code so i have written here lcd.print display text it will display this text and then it will come to the loop and wait for one second then it will bring the cursor to the home position which is this position and then i have used again this lcd print and it will write new text or print a new text here like n e w space t e x t over here and overwrite this one okay let's see what happens so display text is oh, okay so after one second i have this new text over here so this is how we use this lcd home function oh, what if we want uh, the cursor to uh, be at any position so we can do it uh, by using the lcd dot set cursor function which is similar to home but it can place at uh, the cursor in any place in the lcd screen what I have to define in this LCD cursor function is I have to give the number, uh, the row, sorry, the column and the row. I have to pass these two variables. So I have passed uh, the column one and row two. So it is uh, over here. This is the column one and this is the row two. So the new text now will be displayed here and this display text will be over here. So let's see what happens. We should have the display text here and the new text here printed. Okay, so we have display text and we have we also have new text. So this is okay. So now we have uh, displayed the text or we can see say strings over here. So if I want to display some numbers like I want to display 100 only 100. So I will have to define that it is a decimal number. So 100 comma decimal. It will print the decimal number 100. Okay, let me just okay so here I got this uh, hundred printed over here uh, let's see uh, let's say I want to see it in binary form I will just write here bind b i n here and I will be having the binary value of this okay so this is the binary form of uh, hundred and if I want to see it in hexadecimal, I can write hex. Four is the hex value for hundred. And if I want to see it in octal, I can write OCT. So 144 is the value. All for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next tutorial.